Welcome to story time! Good morning everyone and welcome back to our Wednesday story time with Riverside Performing Arts. Today we're going to be reading the story of the little mole who knew it was none of his business. One day, the little mole poked his head out from underground to see whether the sun had already risen. Then it happened. It looked a little like a sausage, and the worst thing was that it landed right on his head. How mean, cried the little mole. Who has done this on my head? But he was so short-sighted that he couldn't see anyone around. Did you do this on my head? He asked the dove who was flying past. Me? No! How could I? I do it like this, she answered. And splish, splish, a moist white blob landed on the ground right next to the little mole. His right leg was splashed with white. Did you do this on my head? He asked the horse, who was grazing in the pasture. Me? No! How could I? I do it like this! And frump, frump, five big, fat, horsey apples plopped down within a hair's breadth of the mole. He was very impressed. Did you do this on my head? He asked the hare. Me? How could I? I do it like this, answered the hare. And rat -a -tat -tat, fifteen little round beans shot past the mole's ears. He saved himself with a daring leap. Whew. Did you do this on my head? He asked the goat, who had been dreaming a little. Me? No, how could I? I do it like this, she replied. And Pippity plop a pile of toffee-colored little balls tumbled on the grass. The little mole found them almost appealing. Did you do this on my head? He asked the cow, who was chewing the cud. Me? No, how could I? I do it like this. And Splash! A big brownish green pancake flopped into the grass just next to the mole. He was very relieved that it hadn't been the cow who had done something on his head. Did you do this on my head? He asked the pig. Me? No. How could I? I do it like this, replied the pig. And plop, plop. A little soft brown pile fell onto the grass. The mole held his nose. Mm. Did you do this on my... He was going to ask again, but as he came closer, he saw only two big, fat, black flies, and they were eating. At last, someone who will be able to help me, thought the mole. Who did this on my head? He asked excitedly. Keep nice and still, buzzed the flies. There was a short pause, and then... It is clear to us, it was a dog! Finally, the little mole who knew... knew who had done the business on his head. Basil, the butcher's dog! Quick as a flash, he climbed onto Basil's kennel. A tiny black sausage landed right on top of the dog's head. Satisfied at last, the little mole disappeared happily into his hole underground. The end. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's story, even though it was a little bit yucky, but also really funny. Even if your grown-ups didn't think so. But we're going to do some brilliant activities off the back of our story today. 
Now, in the story, the mole went round and asked lots and lots of animals some different questions about whether or not they were the ones that pooed on his head. So we thought what would be brilliant is for you guys to write a list of 20 questions, or if you don't want to write them, you could just think of them in your head. But questions that you could go and ask all of the people that are living in your house with you at the moment. But the challenge is, they have to be questions that you don't already know the answers to. That might be a little bit tricky because I guess the people who live in your house with you are people you might know really well. Maybe you might want to ask them what was their last dream they had or what's their favourite smell? Something you might not have ever thought about before. So think of your 20 questions and go around and ask every single person who's living in your house with you the answers to their questions so you can get to know them a little bit better. The next activity that we'd love you to do is to come up with your very own animal. In the story, we met lots and lots of different animals who all had lots of different types of poo. Why not create a brand new animal? Draw a picture of it, colour it in, turn it into a collage, be as creative as you possibly can. Give your animal a name, and if you want to, you can even come up with a different type of poo for your animal. It's gonna be loads of fun, and we can't wait to see your pictures. Send them in to us at Riverside Performing Arts, and we'll see you next week at 10 o'clock for story time with Riverside Performing Arts.